Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. Today, we will understand the pipe schedule and the following topics will be discussed in the upcoming slides. The first topic is, why pipe schedule importance? The second topic is pipe schedule versus pipe size dimensions. The third topic is pipe schedule number comparison. The fourth topic is, how to calculate the pipe schedule. We will cover the above topics in the upcoming slides. Next, we will learn why a pipe schedule is important. The first point is, the wall thickness of a pipe is defined by, schedules, or, schedule numbers, which are collectively referred to as pipe schedules or piping schedules. The second point is, a pipe schedule indicates the pipe's wall thickness, and as the schedule number increases, the wall thickness also increases. The third point is, the primary purpose of pipes is to transport fluids, such as liquids, gases, fluidized solids, slurries, and mixed phase products under pressure. The fourth point is, to safely withstand this pressure, pipes must possess sufficient strength to fulfill their intended function without failure. Consequently, for pipes that carry pressurized fluids, wall thickness is the most critical factor, as it directly impacts the pipe's strength. The fifth point is that the specifications are based on ASME ANSI B36.10 welded and seamless wrought steel pipe and ASME ANSI B36.19 stainless steel pipe. Next, we will understand the pipe schedule, SCH, and pipe size. The first point is, for all pipe sizes, the outside diameter remains constant. Therefore, any variation in pipe schedule, the wall thickness affects only the inside diameter. The second point is, as the pipe schedule number increases, the wall thickness increases, and the actual bore or inside diameter is reduced. The third point is, the most common schedule indicators are Schedule 5, Schedule 5S, Schedule 10, Schedule 10S, Schedule 20, Schedule 20S, Schedule 30, Schedule 40S, Schedule 80S, Schedule 100, Schedule 120, Schedule 140 and Schedule 160. Next. We will understand the pipe schedule number comparison. Please refer to the image of a 3-inch pipe that is shown with different schedule numbers, such as schedule 5 and schedule 80. Next, a smaller schedule number indicates a thinner pipe wall and a larger inner diameter. For example, the 3-inch pipe with schedule 5 has a thinner wall and a larger inner diameter. Conversely, a larger schedule number indicates a thicker pipe wall and a smaller inner diameter. For example, the 3-inch pipe with Schedule 80, the pipe have a thicker wall and a smaller inner diameter. Next, we will understand the how to calculate the pipe schedule. The schedule number is based on modified Balot's wall thickness formula. Schedule numbers for pipe size, wall thickness, SCH, is equals to 1000 multiplied by P and then the obtained value is divided by S. P is the service pressure in pounds per square inch, PSI. S is the allowable stress in pounds per square inch, PSI. Next, we will understand the sample example for pipe schedule calculation. If a pipe has an internal working pressure, P, of 480 PSI and an allowable stress, S, value of 12,000 PSI, the pipe schedule can be calculated as follows. Apply the given data in the above equation. Next, the schedule numbers, SCH, is equals to 1000 multiplied by 480 and the obtained value is divided by 12,000. Therefore, the schedule numbers for pipe size, wall thickness is 40 schedule. 
We hope these explanation understood the pipe schedule and importance of the pipe schedule, pipe schedule comparison and how to calculate the pipe schedule. Don't forget to subscribe to our MBS Engineering channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.